Greenfield, the Obama administration has often claimed or complained rather about the 24 hour news cycle. And now it seems that White House officials were caught in its vortex. Yeah, Katie, you know, the old United Press Wire Service had a slogan, get it first, but first get it right. In the wake of the Shirley Sherrod story, it is worth asking whether more and more the second half of that slogan has been dumped right into the trash bin. It's now clear that no one, not conservative blogger Andrew Breitbart, who posted the original clip, not the NAACP, which condemned Sherrod, not the agriculture department official who ordered her to resign, none of them had seen the whole speech. But there's another part to this story, the deep-seated desire of people who turn to news and opinion sites to reinforce their pre-existing beliefs. For instance, the idea of an Obama administration official harboring anti-white sentiments fits an idea espoused by one of Fox News' most popular voices. This president, I think, has exposed himself as a guy over and over and over again who has a deep-seated hatred for white people or the white culture. I don't know what it is. Now, this doesn't mean Fox would knowingly air a false or misleading tape. It may mean that the original incomplete and out-of-context video clip seemed to fit an idea that would resonate with many in the audience. This is not an impulse confined to any one ideological slice of the public. Back in March 2006, a young black woman who worked as a stripper accused three members of the Duke lacrosse team of raping her. The story was treated as a textbook case of racist, privileged white athletes committing a viciously violent act. Only later, in reports such as Ed Bradley's 60 Minutes piece, did it become clear that the charges were wholly false. Were you at all concerned that, that, that your students and and, and some members of your faculty were engaged in a, in a rush to judgment and that their actions might actually throw fuel on the fire? We had public officials speaking as if it was almost a certainty that this thing had happened. These charges engaged people's deepest fears, deepest anxieties and dreads. If there's any encouraging aspect to this, it's that many of the players quickly took a hard second look. Fox News took a cool, clear-headed look at the story. But I think that this story has been thoroughly screwed up. White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs publicly apologized to Sherrod, and no less than three commentators on the conservative National Review website cautioned outlets on the right to use care before rushing to judgment. It was wrong. Uh, the story was entirely wrong. And if there's a, you know, an hour-long speech or a 30-minute long speech and you're putting up seven seconds of it and you haven't seen the rest of it, then you need to say, I'm putting up seven seconds of this and I haven't seen the rest of it. If you're an optimist, you might look at all this as what the president calls a teachable moment. But maybe we should all wait and see if we've learned anything the next time, Katie. Certainly a cautionary tale. Jeff Greenfield, Jeff, thanks so much.